it's arrived. It's the smallest mattress I've ever seen. Did you order a mattress for Mika? <laughs> it's a little bit small. I know it's called mattress Mika, in a box thing, that, but it's a you Zimba mattress it's a for mattress Mika. Mattress for you. <laughs> it's so tiny. Do you want to come and see what it is? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's excited now. She actually thinks it's for her. Are you ready? It's for you, it's for you and the pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little mattress. It's a little mattress. Simba, the world's tiniest mattress in a box. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to fit on the bed. <laughs> Paul, high five. High five. Get, get. New mattress has arrived. We have two pillows as well. Just waiting for it to poof up. It's got loads of little cubes inside it. These things. And you can take these out and put them back in. So you can make your pillow fatter or skinnier. And this is your little extra storage bag, which feels really nice. Here it comes, the new symbol. The little pack you get inside the gigantic box. We need this little nipey thing to uh, get through the plastic on here now. Okay, let's see if this thing works. Can you hear the air coming out of this? Because it's so vacuum packed. already but the material is really nice and soft so now we just gotta wait for this to um poof up get it out of the wrapping properly obviously but yay new mattress we had it the wrong way around so we've just flipped it so the little simba uh label is at the bottom there's our little pack of things and goodies the material feels very nice and soft already. There is a little bit of a smell, but I think that's just from it being um, vacuum packed. But oh, it's the foam. It's the smell and, and, well, and the foam as well, but apparently that sort of goes away after a little while. So we it's shall see. Yeah, starting to take some shape. So oh, excited. And this was actually made uh, three weeks ago. Really? Yeah. No way. Brand new. Brand new. Can't wait. It hasn't even been an hour yet and the mattress is starting to puff up nicely. It's already feeling soft. The pillows are poofing up. I um, mean, yeah, mine isn't poofing up as much because I didn't take it out of the packet. Whoops. But yay, it's getting squishy. And this is actually really nice. You can feel the air coming out of the sides. And um, when you press down on it, we tested it with the one there. But ee, it's really good. We are very happy with it so far. So we'll give it another couple of hours and uh, see what it's like when it's fully poofed. Cool. Oh. <laughs> you like? Yeah. Very good. Hey. Hey. As you can see, our um, puppy approves. Mm. She's in between the pillows like a conger eel. Right there. <laughs> But she approves. The pillow's really nice. They're squishy. I don't think blocks, um, bags of foam blocks would be comfy, but it really is. It's nice. And the puppy likes it too, don't you? Mika! <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's puffing up nicely. It's not quite there yet. You can still see there's a bit of slack. But he did say it can take up to 48 hours to fully expand. Oh my god, it's comfy. Got my jogging bottoms on. Ugh. Bit more comfy than the work clothes. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> more freedom. These pillows are awesome. Now he puffed up. And you can feel the difference in texture. Um, I know we saw this on the reviews. And I didn't think it, it would actually be this way. The one side's really, really soft. It's just cotton. And this other side is this uh, Stratus uh, fabric, 
It's got a, a little sort of texture to it. It's actually colder. No matter what side you put it on, you can feel how cold it is compared to the other side. So you actually can turn to the cold side of the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be staying on that side of the yeah, pillow all the time. He's so, a very hot sleeper. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. I know you're probably out on the other side. I will indeed. So that's, that's the beauty of these. I just I just wish we had the duvet. Yeah, the duvet would be nice too. Apparently it's a bit weighted, so uh, that is a um, nice feeling in a blanket. I think the duvet is like this, but in a duvet. Um, I believe the duvet has down in it as well, which is a really soft, heavy material, or, you know, stuffing, I should say, and it moulds your body really nice. But look at the build quality of this. This is what I'm really impressed with. You, you think... The pillows, right? You, you look at them and think, oh, that's expensive for a pillow. Um, but we were looking in uh, House of Fraser last week and you see pillows for like a hundred pound or so. Um, and they're a pillow with like down inside and that's it. But they don't have the technology that these have got. Like look at all the stitching and everything, the different layers that go inside these uh, and the lovely zip when it goes up. So you can wash that quite easily and, and leave that out. So that, that's one good thing about something like that, because pillows, you can't wash that easy, or, or you can wash them, but they take ages to dry because the inside's still wet. And but, usually microfiber stuff will, yeah. um, goes really lumpy, you can't really wash it. So so this, you can, you can leave out, you can wash that quite easy. But the fact that they have these two different types of material, you can see little bumps on this. Um, and they say it's like from like space technology or spacesuit technology. And you can actually feel it. It's hard to describe until you've actually got this in your hand. You're like, wow, this is just so different. Um, and you can imagine this being used in spacesuits quite easily. Uh, and this side is just a really, really, really uh, soft, smooth material that you would have on a, a very high premium uh, pillow. Um, Almost like a hotel pillow because they're yeah. always nice. I've, I've been searching for hotel pillows. I always say this every time I go to the yeah, hotel. Yeah, every like, single time. Yeah, yeah, I need a hotel pillow. And you, <laughs> you go in the shops and you buy like a hotel collection pillow, and they're nothing like a hotel pillow. No. And, and reason being is hotel pillows are probably around like the 80, 90 pound mark, sort of like these. And, mm. and I think this is better than something like that because of the technology involved in it the fact that you can alter the height of it by taking the blocks out for me i think that's a really perfect height um after lying on it several times already <laughs> how many people have done this right you you have you have two pillows on your bed mm -hmm. right two pillows too high yeah take one pillow away oh it's too low so you end up folding it or squishing it up you never get comfortable, but never. this, you can take the blocks out, put it in the bag, and get your perfect height. And then your perfect side. And it kind of <laughs> hugs your face really nicely. It's really, really nice. And you and can it, feel the air coming out the side too. That's when you, what when you... I was just about to say, because you said about it earlier on. And, yeah. and if you squish it, you can feel it bellowing out of these. So you can imagine when you're turning your sleep, the temperature regulation and the airflow going through there is going to be fantastic. Yeah, this isn't just a pretty pattern. It is actually a mesh and it does let air travel travel through. I was sceptical about paying so much for these pillows. Uh, but I keep on buying pillows all the time. Yeah, we do that a lot. I've bought probably... Like, I normally have two pillows. Uh, I think this, the last set I bought, I think they were £25 for the one pair and £35 for the other pair. Mm -hmm. and we have four pillows on here. Um, and already they don't, you're not comfortable with them and they don't last very long and you end up throwing away and buying new pillows the following year or the year after. I think this is going to, these are going to last as long as what the mattress is going to, because it's got the same materials. So, so it's, it's an investment by buying something like that and, and having it so comfortable. Um, tonight would be the clincher. When, when we try it tonight. <laughs> yes. And we'll see what it's like tomorrow in the morning. But so far when we've got on this bed, 
Well, we haven't spent this much time up in the bedroom when it's daylight before. Never. And I bought another mattress for this bed a month ago, and that one's going back. It's from a different company. Um, completely dissatisfied with it com completely. And um, we ended up having to put a topper on the top of it to try and make it as comfortable as they said it was going to be. And we didn't spend much time up here, but now we've got this. We're actually really excited. Yeah, look at the squish. The amount it's, of squish amazes me. I love it. It's super it's squishy. It's unbelievable. Uh, skeptical, obviously, buying it. Didn't want to Didn't want to spend the money on something like this. The advertising said it was quite cool. Thought it was a gimmick, but it, it's actually not. And I'm very technically minded. I love technology. I love things that are different. And Simba, you guys are different. You guys are doing everything awesomely. And, um, yeah. I, I, I want the duvet. <laughs> yeah, we really need that duvet now. Get the duvet, guys. <laughs> Don't yes. do this. Get the duvet. Don't make the mistake I've made. <laughs> Get everything in one go and just have an awesome sleep. Definitely. All right, anyway. Can't wait for night time. Oh, yes. We will be reviewing this tonight and talking about it in the morning. That's for sure. Definitely. Because he is a restless sleeper and then it makes me a restless sleeper. So hopefully <laughs> this will help. Oh, apparently... Uh, people say uh, that it helps with snoring. I knew you were going to say that. He snores a lot and very loudly. Um, but I can see how that would work because uh, I know times I snore is when I'm just going into sleep or just coming out of it, not when I'm in a deep sleep. When I'm in a deep sleep, back me up on this, babe, but mm -hmm. I think when I'm properly asleep, I don't snore. Is that right? Snore me in the That's morning right for most or of the when time, I'm yeah. first going to sleep, that's when I snore. Yes. <laughs> um, so if you have a restless night sleeping, of course you're going to snore a lot more. Especially if your missus is jabbing you in the back to try and stop you from snoring. <laughs> you're not going to sleep. <laughs> so hopefully this will help me get into a deep sleep, not snore, not get, not disturb Helen and not have her push Elbow me, you in the back. jab me. I've, I've noticed you jabbed me and I woke up and you went, huh? I, I, I pretend I, I, not I know, to do I know anything. you have. But that just goes to show I'm not in a deep sleep because mm -hmm. I, I can tell when she's doing it. Yeah. Um, and there's times I've actually, she said stop snoring. I'm like, I'm not even asleep. Why am I, why would I be snoring? I'm that shallow mm -hmm. in, in sleep. So let's hope and see, see if this uh, helps with that. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Go. So yeah, we'll let you guys know in the morning. I'll let you tell them that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to know. Okay. All right. On to the... Speak uh, to you tomorrow. Yeah. Speak to you soon. Bye. Check him out being lazy already. Come on. Get your ass down here. My time to get down now. <laughs> awesome. <sighs> it's nice. Mm. You like our new Simba mattress? Yep. Night, night, world. <sighs> no. <night. laughs> not night yet. We have... <laughs> <laughs> Almost night time. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> You do more in bed than just sleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So, after one night of sleep, how did you sleep? I slept pretty good. I did wake up once because you woke up. <laughs> I had a bit of a rest this night, I uh, must admit. But I did go to bed with a bit of stress on my mind and obviously different feeling. Mattress. mattress, different feeling pillow. Um, in the day it was lush. Um, well, this pillow was lovely until you packed it up in the in the in the the pillowcase and stuff like that. Like this. And, and <laughs> it's so tight that <laughs> um, it it becomes firm. Um, and uh, yeah, I just found it a little bit firm. So in the middle of the night, <laughs> I took my my cover off uh, to leave me with just this, but, and it was uh, very, very nice. <laughs> yeah. But um, I found obviously when you read the instructions, it actually gives you um, three levels in here. It says that uh, they packed enough nano cubes to give it serious support. So uh, if you're a firm believer in sturdy <laughs> comfort, leave them it be. So if you want a bit of bounce, <laughs> it says remove four to six handfuls of nano cubes, and that's what you put in the bag. Then if you want it, if if you want it soft, 
uh, then you remove eight to 12 handfuls of nanotubes. So I'm, I'm gonna take some out um, because uh, it, it was just too tightly packed in, in the... Uh, Within the pillowcase. Within the pillowcase. We didn't think to test this theory beforehand. We just uh, put all the bed sheets back on before we went to bed and got into bed and that was it. So yeah, yeah we thought it'd be fine. It but it does make it, it a bit more firm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so obviously you're going to need to take these out. I squished them in. Put them in there. In. There we go. <laughs> Definitely get someone to help with this. Oh man. It's a little bit My busy. hands are bigger than yours, so how many do I need to do? Um... Oh, no, just shove them in there. <laughs> yeah. So that's everywhere. three. That's three handfuls. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oops. <laughs> I think you need a bigger bag, Simba. Yeah. Uh... At least the cubes haven't lost their shape after one night. You know, some some um, foamy stuff I mean, does do that. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> we'll push them in there, push them down. <laughs> All right, keep on going. Okay. So yeah, yeah, um, another one, another one. <laughs> yes, this is good because uh, <laughs> if they ever do lose their shape and you need to plump it back up again, you got some spare ones to put back in. Yeah. Yeah, like Tons we, of spare we, ones. <laughs> The normal pillows you get your first, the first night they feel amazing mm -hmm. um, and then they get flatter and flatter over time and you're puffing them up and yeah, nothing they, seems to happen, you can't get the air back into yeah, them. Yeah, they never go quite the same again so that's why people always end up buying loads of pillows all the time, but, which is what we used to do. But I think these would be quite good. I don't think we're going to get any more uh, that, in here, this is really... Good, because that's, that's, this I'm is try completely that. compact. I don't even know how many handfuls you did. I don't know. But yeah, so that's... Step oh, inside. you dropped one. Oh, I dropped one. Oh, that's just... <laughs> a cube, not a bar. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me put that back in. But this bag feels really, really smooth and soft. So, we'll give that a go in a sec. This one feels nice, too. It's actually really good quality. Yeah. Really good. But yeah. That's so, bad. I'll put that back in in a bit. But I just want to talk about this fabric again. Uh, because... Definitely, definitely made a difference last night uh, when I changed sides. Because um, my face is directly in contact with the stratus side, it, it is, it feels so cold to the touch compared to the other one. And it's not just, I was, I was trying to find my laser, uh, my laser thermometer um, really just was. now. I, I can't find it, it's in the shed somewhere. <laughs> just to see what the difference in temperature is. But I think I know exactly why it actually, well, one of the reasons why it works. Because it's still cotton, it's still, it's still the same sort of material, but it's the shape of, of it. And if you can see, um, there's little, little tiny kind of like bubbles in there. Well, not bubbles, but the surface has kind of got little bumps in there. It's like a raised textured yeah. surface. So what that does is increase the surface area of, of the pillow and if any of you know out there with like computers and stuff uh, and electronics you have heat sinks and I like like old air cooled motorbikes and stuff you have fins on there that's like a heat sink so the more surface area you have the more heat it would dissipate outwards or inwards depending on what is the hottest and the coldest so with your with your head being quite hot compared to the pillow, the pillow is going to feel cold because it's actually drawing the heat away from your head. Um, and again, if this gets, if this was hotter than your head, the heat will go this way instead. So it's tr it tries to normalize the temperature between your head and, and the pillow. So once this is warmed up to the same temperature as your head, nice and comfortable, it stays there. But obviously if you're getting hotter, it would take more temperature away to keep that temperature balanced. That's kind of what a heat sink does, and that's what this material is doing. Uh, where this side, because it's smooth, you've only got one, one surface rather than lots of undulations in, in the material, which is why it feels warmer. And as soon as you do that, it feels colder. It's, um, it's obviously just not the surface area, but it's, it's got definitely got a part to play in it. Yeah. Obviously, some of the material in there, because it's obviously it's always dissipating heat more so yeah. than this so that's why it's colder so, as yeah. you can tell he's very technically minded <laughs> that's why i didn't sleep last night i was thinking hmm. 
<laughs> Where is this called? <laughs> Constantly thinking about stuff. All yeah, time. I, I, my, my mind works over, over time. It does. But yeah, so that's quite cool. So so it's good that, just read the leaflet. We, I didn't read it yesterday. No. Actually, no, oh, this today. is great. It's perfect. I'm going to try it as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a little bit too firm. Um, <laughs> and that does feel a lot softer already. You've still got the same height as it did, but it just feels softer. It does. It really does. Because you'd think nice. taking more out would make it thinner, mm -hmm. i.e. less soft, but it doesn't really work that way around. Um, yeah. One thing, I, I, again, I was thinking about is, I know the older ones of these have tubes in them, and these have got cubes. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because if you think, if you have tubes together, they'll roll around and, and, and move a lot more. Where you can build these on top of each other and, and create that. So if you've got your head on there, it's you could have a solid area. But I'm not sure if it's going to make any difference or not. I'm just thinking, Yeah. again, with the thinking tubes, you, <laughs> they would roll around and then probably space out more than these. But I don't know. They, they must have... Um, changed the cubes for a reason, so um, anyone knows? See, let us know, <laughs> yeah. See all the Simbo, you can tell us, but I don't know if there's a cost thing or whether this just works. I don't know, but yeah, it definitely keeps the sheet. It's good, yeah. It is nice, it's very comfy for me. It's very comfy, yeah. So that's that's that. The the mattress, I, I, I liked it. it I nice like the stuff. mattress, it's nice. So, again it's gonna it's gonna puff up a bit more and probably soften yeah. a little bit more um so we'll see how it goes after tonight with uh kind of adjusted pillow we'll yeah see. so it should be good it should be fine i mean i slept uh fine last night i find it very comfy i'm not really a back sleeper i'm a side sleeper like as a side it doesn't matter usually snuggling into you or you're spooning me but I found that I'm much more comfortable on my back and I sleep a bit like a vampire. Yeah. I'll, I'll lie straight, my hands either here or here on my stomach. And I felt very comfortable. I have honest. noticed as well, I, I, I feel a lot more comfortable on my back than I used to, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the side. So, I don't know, I might end up turning into a back sleeper, I don't know. Maybe. But I know before... <laughs> If she's near me, I get way too hot. But um, yeah, I'm a, like a radiator, apparently, yeah, a human is. hot water bottle. And <laughs> and I think the mattress is helping with that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I would like to try the duvet to see if that works as well as yeah, the pillow does. Yeah, definitely, I'd like to try um, that too. Yeah, like I said before, I really wish I had it. So, so maybe maybe we we'll, we we'll follow up with uh, the the video after yeah. with with the duvet, see if, see if that helps. We'll, we'll see, see how it goes. But definitely impressed with it so far. Really yeah. like it. But let's see how it goes. Yeah, so we'll uh, get back to you uh, tomorrow after another night of sleeping on the mattress again. Yep. And the pillow's adjusted. I might adjust mine just a little bit as well. Oh, make it a bit copy extra me. soft. Yeah. Shh. Bye, guys. <laughs> right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.